Society does not want you to be successful. Society does not want you to have a lot of money. Society wants you to be poor. And when I say society, I mean the people at the top of the hierarchy, the top of the pyramid, that dictate the values and the beliefs and the norms that the rest of society accepts, that the rest of us normal people accept. And when you ask the question, okay, well, who are those people at the top of the hierarchy? Who are those people that are dictating what society believes? Well, the answer is pretty simple. The people at the top are the people with the money printing machine. The people at the top are the people that can, well, nowadays just type some numbers into a keyboard and now have a trillion dollars that they can give to whoever they desire. So what these people are doing is that they type some numbers into a keyboard, create a whole bunch of money, give you a tiny little bit of that money that they just created, and then you build their houses, build their roads, build their cars, serve their food. You do all of the actual work. They do no work at all. They just type numbers into a computer, give you a little bit of that fake money that they just created on a computer, and then you do the real work. You create the real value. You create the real products and the real services in society that they get to have unlimited amounts of because they just type that money into existence. And then to add insult to injury, to really rub salt in the wound, after they give you a little bit of that money that they just typed into existence so that you will slave away doing the real work and, and giving of your energy and your life force, then they turn around and say, oh, by the way, you have to give us half of that money back. That's called taxes. And so you might ask yourself, well, if they have unlimited supply of money, if they have this money printing machine that gets them all the money they could ever want, an infinite supply of money, why the heck are they asking you for taxes? Well, the truth is that they are not satisfied with just having infinite supply of money. They want to have infinite supply of money and keep you below a certain level of poverty. So whatever tiny little bit of money you manage to get a hold of, they take a big percentage of it back from you. So that way, you don't have the money to escape the system. You don't have the money to stay home and homeschool your kids and keep them out of the public indoctrination system, which, by the way, is a big part of the scam, right? Because they know that if you understood what was really going on, if you understood that they were just typing numbers on a screen and then giving you those numbers in return for your actual work, then you would be pretty unhappy with that system if you understood that. And so they create this public education system system where they type numbers on the screen and then they give a little bit of money to some some low paid workers called teachers who then brainwash your children to give up their life force to give up their time and their energy to create stuff in return for some numbers on a screen just like they did and so we have these low paid workers that are hired to indoctrinate children to grow up to be low paid workers themselves and thus the system perpetuates itself that way nobody figures out what's really going on and all of society is brainwashed to live with this very low expectation. To live with this expectation that okay, they can slave their lives away doing the real work in return for some numbers on a computer screen that, get, that have less and less value every single year because they're constantly printing more of it. And so everybody is brainwashed to have super low expectations. And so our expectations are, oh, well, we go to school and we get good grades and then we go to college and then after college we get a good middle class office job and then we save for retirement. Meanwhile, the people at the top are yanking the rug out of that whole plan because your money is worth less, the things that cost more, and the interest rate that you can get from saving your money is next to nothing. So the system is rigged and almost everybody is brainwashed to have super low expectations for what they can get out of life and how much money they can make. Which is why people automatically shut off if they hear something that sounds too good to be true. Or if they hear, hear get rich quick, right? They, they hear get rich quick and they think, oh, that must be a scam. There's no possible way that that could happen. They don't even consider it for a second because they've been so brainwashed that the only things that are legitimate are the things that give them a tiny little bit of money for a lot of their time and effort and work. And so I know that most people are brainwashed, including myself at one time. I was brought up in exactly the same system, so I know where everybody's coming from. And so that's why I, I named this video How to Double Your Income. Right? The truth is that you can 10x your income, you can 20x your income, you can 100x your income. But if I say that in the title, then people are just going to think, oh, that's too good to be true. I, I'm just going to skip it. I'm not even going to watch the video. I'm not even going to consider what this guy has to say because I don't believe that my life could be that much better. 
And so what I'm about to show you in this video, you absolutely can use to double your income, but you could actually increase it a heck of a lot more than that. I only use the double, I use the low expectations to get people to click on it in the first place. It's funny, I've noticed this because I've been teaching for a while, I've been teaching people how to get a better job that could add like 10, 20, $30,000 a year to their salary. And then just recently I've started teaching people how to create a course or coaching business that could add $200,000 to their income. So it, I found that it's much easier to convince people that I can get them 20K a year more on their salary than to show people that I, they can make 200K a year more. Even though both of them are equally doable because we are brainwashed with this low expectation. We automatically reject get rich quick and we automatically reject anything that seems too good to be true according to our social brainwashing growing up and so we have these horse blinders on that completely blind us to any opportunity that could make our lives significantly better. That said, there are people who have managed to escape the matrix. There are people who have taken off the horse blinders and who have recognized that there are opportunities and th these are people that are not the people at the top of the pyramid that are printing the money. These are people who are normal peons, normal people who have found ways to escape the system, who have recognized the corruption inherent in the system and have found ways to raise themselves up and have a much greater level of success than they ever could have if they'd followed the traditional brainwashing. And these people, the vast majority of the time, they were people who had somebody, an example, a mentor who could teach them how to escape the matrix and how to get to a higher level of life. And perhaps more importantly, these were people that could show them that too good to be true wasn't too good to be true after all, right? These are people that showed them that they could escape and, and get to a much higher orbit than the vast majority of people think is possible. I think of Robert Kiyosaki, for example, the author of the famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Well, his best friend's dad was a rich guy who had escaped the matrix and his his own father was a college professor who was completely brainwashed and had no idea um, and so he he learned from his father that you know you just go to school and you get a good job and then you go get an advanced degree and then you get a slightly better job and that's your life but at the same time robert's best friend's dad had not followed any of that advice, and yet he was making much, much more money than his actual dad was. And so he had this example to look to to say, hey, this brainwashing, it's not true, it's a lie. And so because of this example, he was able to reject the, the too good to be true programming. He was able to reject the low expectations. He realized it was a lie and he was able to escape. And so that brings me to the main part of this video, which is how to escape how to double your income or 10x your income or 20x or 100x, etc. How to escape the matrix and live the life that probably you've wanted for a long time, but perhaps not let yourself to even dream about because you thought it was impossible. So I'm gonna show you how. It's actually a really, really simple four-step formula that is basically foolproof. So number one is you find someone who has the results that you would like to have from doing the thing that you would like to do. And I'm gonna get into the details of how to do each of these steps in a moment, but first I'm gonna give you the formula. So number one, you find someone. Two, you get that person to teach you. Get that person to show you how they got the result that, they, that you want and how you can get the same result. Step three is do what he says. Obviously, when the person teaches you, you do what he says, you implement it. And then four, keep going until it works. Keep going until you get the result that you were looking for. That, my friends, is the simple four-step formula to getting a lot of money, to doubling your income, or really to doing, getting almost any result you could ever dream of in life. So let's go into this in more detail. How do you actually implement this? So number one, you find somebody who already has the result that you want doing the thing that you wanna do and get that person to teach you. So there are two parts to that. Number one, the result that you wanna get. Number two, doing the thing that you wanna do. So the result you wanna get 
Um, it depends what your goal is. Is your goal to double your income? Well, then you find somebody that has double your current level of income. If your goal is to 10x your income, you find somebody that has 10x your, your level of income. If your goal is to have a great relationship with your wife, then you find somebody with a great relationship with his wife. Like I said, this works for everything. And then the second part of that is doing what you want to do because the truth is that there are ways to get rich that are you might not want to do. For example, I knew a guy that was a military contractor who, who basically lived 50 weeks of the year in a desert in the Middle East. This guy made a lot of money. They, I think he made 90K a year and they paid all of his living expenses. So by most people's, um, most people's standards, this guy was pretty rich. Like he had a lot of money, uh, a lot of money to spend. But here's the thing, he was stuck living in the desert 50 weeks per year and he had two weeks a year only to enjoy that money. And not only that, he was in very violent situations. Um, he, he had lost most of his teeth because somebody beat him in the face with a butt of a rifle. So yeah, okay, this guy has money, but do you, do you really want to make money doing the thing that this guy is doing? Probably not. And this guy's a friend of mine, by the way. Like, I don't mean to trash the guy at all. He's super nice guy, super good person, but, but um, I just, like, to me, he's the example of a way to get rich that I would, it was not worth it, in my opinion. Another good example is like the corporate CEO. Uh, that, that runs some big company, but he's working 60, 70 hours a week and sleeping overnight in the office and spends his, his whole waking hours going to meetings. And yeah, he makes a lot of money, but at the same time, he has no time or no energy to be able to enjoy that money. That is a lifestyle that I would not want to have. And so I would not want to find that person as my mentor. That is not the person that I would want to emulate. I would want to find somebody that is getting the result that I have, but doing something that I would like to do. So that's really important. You don't want to just get seduced by money or fame and neglect like what is actually getting them there. What does their day-to-day -day life actually look like? Okay, so now how do you find somebody like this? Well, if you're lucky, then maybe you already know somebody like this. Maybe you're like Robert Kiyosaki and your best friend's dad is already rich. Or, or maybe, you know, maybe you're really lucky and your own dad is rich and he can teach you these things. If so, then absolutely take advantage of that. Maybe they'll even teach you for free. However, if not, then you can find people online. One of the reasons that right now is the single greatest time to be alive in history in terms of opportunities is that we have access to pretty much every person in the world, right? If I want to find Donald Trump's email address, I can find it and I can send him an email. You know, that's not to say that he's going to answer me, but the fact that I even have access to him, that I can contact him or his people, is something that has never been true in the history of the world. So take a look around, find somebody who is at a level that you would like to be at. And a lot of times you might want to find somebody that's at the next level, because if you go all the way to the top and you try to contact Elon Musk, for example, um, well, he's so far above most of us that probably he's, he's just not going to be willing to listen to us in the first place. So you got to consider what's in it for the person. But you can find people on Google, you can find people on Facebook, you can join Facebook groups and you can ask for recommendations. I do mentoring myself. If you're interested, you can send me an email. But whatever you do, you have to find somebody who has the result that you would like to get by doing the things that you would like to do. So that's step one. Step two then is to get that person to teach you. Now, in order to get that person to teach you, you need to reach out. You need to find that person's contact information, whether it's email or social media, and then ask, what does that person require of you in order to be willing to mentor you because you have to provide some value, right? Somebody who's successful, their time is very valuable and the time to mentor you is something that is very valuable to them. So you're either gonna have to pay them a lot of money or do them some very great service in most cases, unless it's a friend or somebody that you know, in order to get that person to be willing to spend his valuable time with you. And so once you do make that contact, you want to pay that person whatever he asks for and do whatever that person asks you to do. So if the person asks you for a huge amount of money and to move across the country, then you sell your house and you move across the country, right? You do what the person asks you to do. When I first started this, I paid a guy $36,000 to mentor me, $36,000 that I didn't even have. I, I liquidated my 401k to pay half of it and I took a loan for the other half. And I didn't tell anybody 
that I did this. I didn't tell my friends, I didn't tell my family, I did not tell anybody because I knew that everybody around me was brainwashed with the same low expectations and they were all gonna say, oh, you're an idiot, you're a fool, you got scammed, this is never gonna work. So I knew people were gonna say that and so I didn't say a word about it until I had made back my investment many times over. And so I highly recommend that you don't tell anybody about it unless there are people around you that are on the same wavelength as you. But anyway, so set, step two, get the person to teach you. Step three is do what he says. This, this should be obvious, but so many people don't do that. They think, oh, well, that sounds hard, or oh, that sounds uncomfortable, or, or they think that they know better. They're like, oh, I'm gonna kind of do that, but I'm gonna do it in my own sort of way. You cannot do that. You have to follow the directions exactly. You have to be humble. It's crazy to me how many people have so much pride when they have accomplished nothing, right? Pride keeps you from doing the things that you need to do to have the life that you, have, that you want to have. And you might be listening to me and thinking, well, I sound like I have pride. Well, I guarantee you, like if I was in the room with Elon Musk, I would be the most humble person in the world, right? I would recognize that this guy knows a lot that I don't, and so I'm going to be a student, I'm gonna be a white belt, and I'm gonna learn everything I possibly can from this man. And I continually do that, by the way. I continually pay people lots of money to be able to learn what they know. I pay people who are at a higher level than me to learn what they know that got them to that higher level. So anyway, step three, do what he says, and then finally step four is keep going. It's amazing to me how many people give up at the first roadblock or give up at the first sign of difficulty. They, they, something doesn't work the very first time they try and they say, oh, I tried, but it didn't work. And then they give up and they go back to whatever they were doing before. You cannot do that. You have to keep trying. And you don't keep trying stupidly like you're doing the same thing over and over again. You, you reflect, you say, okay, well, what about it didn't work? Like you isolate the bottleneck, you figure out at which point in the process did it break down and you fix that little part in the process and then you try it again. And then if it doesn't work again, then you figure out which part of the process failed that time and you tweak that little part of the process and you do it again. And you keep going until you succeed. And by the way, this is exactly the reason why data analysis is so incredibly important and why it has is, is been so helpful in making me a successful business owner is because if you can understand the data, that's when you can pinpoint the exact part of the process that isn't working, try something else, and, and iterate intelligently instead of just banging your head against a wall. So if you will do this, if you will keep going and you will figure out where the process is breaking down and you will fix that part of the process and then try again and keep trying again and do not give up, then you literally cannot fail. So that's it. That's the formula. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd also really like this video about the single biggest factor, the single biggest asset that creates success in your life.